Good morning, Cornerstone. Our inspirational vitamin is going to come from 1 Timothy chapter 2, and I'm going to be reading verses 1 through 6. First of all, then, I urge that petitions, prayers, intercessions, and thanksgivings be made for everyone, for kings and all those who are in authority, so that we may lead a tranquil and quiet life in all godliness and dignity. This is good, and it pleases God our Savior, who wants everyone to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. For there is one God and one mediator between God and humanity, the man Jesus Christ, who gave himself as a ransom for all, a testimony at the proper time. And I imagine that most of you out there today uh, may be a little more tired this morning because you stayed up, uh, you know, glued to Fox or CNN or um, whatever news outlet looking at election results. And I know that today the temptation is going to be to be obsessed uh, to be just glued to your screen or your tablet or your television screen, looking at, um, you know, who's going to win this election. And I really just wanted to read this scripture because I wanted to encourage all of us that, like Paul says here, he urges that petitions, prayers, intercessions, and thanksgiving be made for everyone, for kings and all those who are in authority. And so my call for today is that we be praying, the followers of Jesus, that we'll be praying for President Donald Trump and Vice President Joe Biden and um, whoever's going to win. I pray that we can be praying for the winner to be gracious in victory and the loser to be gracious in defeat. Um, I love what Paul says here. He says, pray for all these folks so that we may lead a tranquil and quiet life in all godliness and dignity. You know, that's why we pray for our leaders. Um, and then he goes on to say, this is good. You know, the same way that in Genesis 1, God created the world, and at every step of the way, he said, this is good. It is good. He saw that it was good. You know, it is a good thing for us to be praying for our leaders. And it says, it pleases God, our Savior, who wants everyone to be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. I want us to be praying for that today, that um, regardless of who wins the election, that God will open a door for more and more people to hear the truth and to have the opportunity to be saved. I love how this scripture ends by simply saying that there is one God and one mediator between God and man. It's the man, Christ Jesus. You know, Jesus is able to be our mediator because he was both fully God and fully human in one. So he can uh, be the mediator, be the go-between uh, between the two parties. And um, I'm just grateful for that because the, the, the text ends here saying he gave himself as a ransom for all. You know, you're not going to look into the eyes of anyone that Jesus didn't die for that Jesus doesn't love. You're not going to see anyone today, regardless of who they voted for, regardless of what sign is in their yard or what sticker is on their car. You're not going to come across someone that Jesus didn't give himself as a ransom for. And so um, I hope that today as disciples, we can really show salt and light to the world. We can have peace today. <clears throat> we can say that no matter who wins, Jesus is still king. No matter who's sitting in the White House, Jesus is still on the throne. And, uh, you know, that we can uh, just show people that this is not something to be obsessing over, that this is not something to be um, have our day or our life ruined over, that um, our treasure is in heaven, that this world is not our home and that there is a better place uh, than, than what there is a better place that, that Jesus went to prepare for us. And so I hope that that can be on our thoughts. You know, it's okay if you're not the first person on your timeline or the first person in your friend group to know if a certain state was called for one candidate or the other. You don't have to be the first one to know. Uh, it, you know, you staring at the screen is not going to change the outcome. But what God can do is change your heart about it if we are in prayer for our leaders, for our country, for our world. So that is my plea for all of the disciples out there. Um, let's be sending up petitions, prayers, intercessions, and thanksgiving for everyone, for kings and presidents and all those who are in authority, uh, because this is good and pleases God our Savior. So that's your inspirational vitamin for today. Um, I love you. I'm praying for you. And um, God is going to be glorified. Um, so we uh, let's have a great week and all of this in Jesus' name. Amen.